Best sourdough. He said that's the best sourdough I ever made. Facts. <laughs> Jalapeno, spicy cheese. We've had quite the morning. I had a burst of energy, so went on a walk, enjoyed some time in the garden. I painted another door blue. I am just loving painting my doors blue. I think it adds such a cute pop of color. So I painted our back door blue, and I have one more door I want to paint, and it's to our back porch. So I didn't have quite enough energy to do both of them today, but I plan to do that soon and then I baked some sourdough. It's so delicious. I put a bunch of this spicy cheese from Trader Joe's within the loaf with jalapeno. It is divine. And yeah, I've just been, just been getting organized for our day. So the plan for the rest of the day is I just need to do some work on the computer and then around two or three my grammy's coming over she's in town this week so she's gonna come over and then my mom's gonna come over and we're gonna go candle making i'm really looking forward to that i actually got them the candle making experience for christmas but we haven't done it yet so while my grammy's in town this week we're gonna do it together and it should be nice i made candles up um at home before but never at like a professional place and i think it'll be fun to pick our scents and whatnot so that'll be nice and then maybe we'll grab some dinner we shall see and while I was doing my makeup I was like okay we need to wash our makeup brushes because we have not done that in a while and they're getting a little yucky so I'm gonna wash them I don't really have like a very um strategic or thorough makeup washing routine i literally just put soap and water on them and like use the back of my hand to get the the old makeup off and then i'll use this gray towel to wipe it down and dry it so let's go ahead wash these makeup brushes and then we'll go from there <laughs> I'll also use a bar of soap to wipe down the makeup brushes as well. I 
have been in the organization mood and I ordered some car specific organizing items. So I wanted to show you. The first one is this trunk organizer. I like how it's collapsible because sometimes, you know, if you're going on a road trip, have suitcases or whatnot, you don't want this taking up a lot of space. But it is really good quality and it has lots of pockets. So I want to go put this in my car and fill it up. I usually always keep a cooler in my car as well. And I actually have two portable coolers that I want to decide which one I should keep in the car. And that'll kind of depend on which one fits nicer in this setup. But I think this is a really great find. And then also when we go grocery shopping, we could also put the bags in this compartment and carry it in like this if that's ever helpful. And then this isn't organ actually nothing else is organization. <laughs> this is really the only organizing thing, but I also got this dust cleaning gel, which I've seen online quite a few times, but I've never experienced it myself. It looks like slime that you would play with. Oh, that feels funky. So basically, you just use it to collect dust. So you just slide it over any dusty parts and it picks up the dust. So that's unique. I wonder how, how that'll fare with the Florida heat because I don't know if it'll completely melt, but we'll see how that goes. And then we have, oh, I wanted to show you because I ordered a new pack of this, but I always keep this gum in the car. Well, it's just my favorite gum, so I keep it in my purse and also a bag in the car, but it's this pure gum peppermint and it's gluten-free and it has xylitol in it and it's aspartame free oh yeah that's the special part about it because a lot of the popular gum brands have aspartame in it which apparently isn't very good for you so i get the xylitol gum and then these i've actually had for a while but when i was collecting everything i wanted to show you these are little crocheted cup holder coasters so they collect any condensation from your cups and just look absolutely adorable in your car so those are my car organization slash accessory finds ta-da here's our little organizer and we also have this flat tire repair kit and also this tire plug so i just put that in there and then we always keep an extra towel in the car as well as like a little picnic blanket so i'm gonna put that there and then this is my reusable cooler so I'm just gonna put this at the top for now. And then in here, I'm gonna put some of my reusable bags. So there we have it. I have some leftover morning coffee, so I'm about to give it a new life and make some iced coffee. It's been too long. I used to do that every single day, but kind of got out of that phase. It was in the fall time and winter time, it was hot lattes every day, and then once it started to get warmer i i like to make more like juices or kombucha in the afternoon but we have our leftover morning coffee so let's just enjoy it i have this milk i wish i had like a yummy sweet creamer that sounds so good but i have this milk it's almond milk and i love this brand it's not always um easy to find at least at the grocery stores near me but it literally is just filtered water and almonds which with a lot of the non-dairy milks, they can have a lot of fillers and oils. So I really like this brand and I'm a little iffy about it because we've had it for a couple weeks now. So is it still good? But then I'm like, it's just water and almonds. What could go bad about it, right? It smells like almonds. So I think I'm just going to use that. The one thing I will say that happens though is it can, oh, what's the term? Oh. It starts with a C, I think, where um, you see the milk kind of like making these weird, it looks kind of gross. I'm gonna look up what that's called because it's just on the tip of my tongue, but let's make ourselves a nice little drink. I was just about to Google it when the word came to me, curdles. So sometimes this milk will curdle which is not a very appetizing thing, but if you stir it around enough, it's fine. And I plan to put a lot of little small crunchy ice so it'll kind of camouflage. <laughs> also, I think I'm going to put some maple syrup at the bottom. I'm thinking that'll be delicious and add a little sweet note that I'm craving. 
Also, I know I've shared this before, but in case you missed it, we always save our coffee grounds from our morning coffee and I'll take it out to the garden or I'll take it out to any potted plants I have and it works as a nice natural fertilizer and also kind of saves some room in the trash can. So it's really nice, provides some extra nutrients and I just directly um, sprinkle it on the soil. Oops, I forgot to add the maple syrup. I also love adding honey to my coffee, but switching it up. When I was showing you the car stuff, I wanted to ask you if any of you have dog car seat recommendations. So basically it's just like a dog bed that you can strap into your car. I really want to find a good one for Palmer, but he's about 30 pounds. So he's not a small dog, but he's also not really, I guess you would say he's a medium dog, but he's still kind of on the smaller side of being a medium dog. So when I look online, a lot of the listings aren't super clear on the sizing. I guess I could pull out a tape measure and try to visualize it more, but yeah, let me know if you have a good recommendation because I definitely think he's so good in the car. I'm really thankful that we started taking him in the car from a really young age, but I think it'll just be a lot comfier for him to have a little spot and it also will be a little booster so he can look out the window a little better and it'll help the seats not get scratched. So. Let me know if you have any recommendations. Drinking our tea, mm. watching the rain. Mm. The rain is coming in. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. <laughs> oh, does it? I do remember that. What is that from? A nursery rhyme? Would that be The considered? rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. Yes, it does. <laughs> or, or that's what they told us. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go to Spain next summer. Oh, absolutely. We're planning a trip for yes. sure. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Do you hear these thunder sounds? Yes. It sounds like not real, but it's real. day last night was so nice it was really such a perfect rainy day activity to go make candles and i actually went to pick them up today but the experience was so fun so essentially we got a sheet of paper and each of us 
went over to the wall full of candles and we smelled basically every single one and then wrote down around nine of our favorites. Then we went back to the table and then sniffed the different oils and paired them together and tried to find our favorite combination. So for my candle, I ended up going with Apricot Grove Grapefruit. I love the smell of grapefruit. And then I had Tomato Leaf, which Tomato Leaf, it smelled very natural, very earthy, kind of like a fresh whiff of the garden after the rain. What was my last scent? It was another, oh, pear. So it was pretty fruity, pretty light. It turned out perfect. Simple looking, but smells heavenly. So I'm gonna burn that soon. And it's been so rainy here. So last night, once we came home, it was still raining. So we sat on the porch for a few hours reading. And then this morning, it was also raining. So I read some more and I did end up finishing Happy Place by Emily Henry. This was such a slow start for me. I was surprised at how long it took me to get into it, but once I was like halfway through and I had enough, it was nice when I was able to like dedicate hours in a row to reading it and finishing it because I just felt more invested at that point, but I did end up really enjoying it. It's just, I wouldn't give it a full fledged five star rating because it did take me so long to get into. So I would recommend it. I really did enjoy it. Really fun summer read. A lot of thinking about friendship and love and home and different definitions of home. So it was really sweet. And then my new book came in that I need to read before Wednesday's book club, which is An Island Summer by Jenny Hale. So we're going full summer mode over here. And then I also went to a plant shop today and I did get a new plant that I'm excited about. It's a type of pothos, but it has this really pretty coloring on the leaves. My plan is to put this in our bedroom actually. We don't have any real plants in our bedroom, so I'd love to add some just for the air quality and whatnot. This is a hanging planter, but I don't think I'll hang it, but just kind of set it. I don't know where, maybe on the dresser. We'll see where we have space for it. Oh, and then I also picked up these cards that are just absolutely amazing. They're these, well, it's an insect, so it's a variety. There's an insect. Oh, all of them are insects. There's a ladybug, a butterfly. A, what is that? A moth and a dragonfly? Yeah, a moth, a luna moth. But what's so cool about it is that they, you can plant the card if you want because there's seeds in the card. So that is really, really fun. And it's just nice to have more generic cards like that because I have a box of birthday cards and a box of thank you cards. But sometimes you just need a miscellaneous card. So I thought that set would be nice to have around. Oh, also at the candle place, I wanted to say they had one scent that was baked bread and it smelled pretty, pretty true to a baked bread smell, depends on the bread, but just a very yeasty and like cozy smell. It was fun to smell all those scents, but thank you so much for watching this vlog. We actually are going to have dinner at home tonight and then we're going to go on a walk. It's our five year anniversary of the day that we got engaged. And this is the dress I wore when we got engaged actually. So we're going to have some quality tonight, just quality time tonight, just reminiscing and celebrating. But thank you guys again so much for watching this vlog. I really appreciate you and I hope you're well and I'm excited to